your attention for a moment. I just want to give thanks to God and His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for landing us safe and sound. And as I was reading my Bible and meditating on His Word, He gave me a message to tell all of you. And the message is that He loves you all, and He created you. He's known you since the beginning of time. You were knitted, and before you were knitted in your mother's womb, He knew you. And so he wants you to know that if you seek him diligently with your whole heart, he's a rewarder for those that do. Seek him a little until it becomes a lot, and he will make your path straight, and he will bring your valleys, valleys up and bring your mountains low. I don't know who's going through a death or a sickness or a disease or something on this plane, an argument with a loved one, or whatever it may be, but I'm here to tell you today, that it's not from God and it is not his fault. The Bible says that all good things come from above, right? And God knows every thought that we think, but the enemy knows every action that we do. And that results to sickness, disease, arguments, fighting, all these things because the devil wants to kill you and destroy you. But God came to give us life and life abundantly. I'm a walking testimony of his goodness, his mercy, grace, and love, and time is short. Time is short. There's going to be a time where we won't be able to preach the name of Jesus because of persecution here in the United States, where we won't be able to carry our Bibles. So I'm taking this opportunity to tell you all now that he loves each and every one of you, and he wants you to pray to him, have a relationship with him. It's not about a religion. He's not coming back for denominations. He's coming back for a relationship for all eternity. So God bless you all. In Jesus' name, I pray, I pray you have a blessed and a safe trip wherever you're going. And peace be with you. Amen.